In this video, me and Milo are going to show you how to create this design from scratch using Adobe Illustrator. So here we are inside of Illustrator and the first step you need to take is selecting the ellipse tool from your toolbar or hit L on your keyboard and then you just need to click on the artboard, draw out a circle, then hold down Alt and Shift as well to keep it in these perfect circle dimensions. And um, now we just need to select a fill color for this. I'm going to start off with like a dark green and I will deselect the stroke. Uh, the colors don't matter just yet. We are going to change them later. But essentially what you want to do now is create multiple circles on top of this one. And just to do that, hit Control C on your keyboard to copy and then Control F to paste that copy in front. You can now change the color of it to a slightly lighter green, for example, and then resize this while holding down shift and alt on your keyboard to uh, resize it down in the same proportions or in the same place and that way we can do this and repeat this process multiple times Control c Control f change the color and we can create um, about five circles like this for our um, vintage sunset or rainbow whatever you want to call it um, that we will create right here in a minute so um, there we go this is the last one and now what we can do is we can use the rectangle tool down here. You can click M on your keyboard as well to select that. And now just draw out a box like this. It can be in the in the middle of the circle, in the center, or it can be further down, however you want to do it. It doesn't have to be right in the center. But essentially what we're going to do now is we will select all of these items together, hit shift, M on our keyboard and that will bring up the shape builder tool and with this we can combine or erase shapes and if you hold down alt on your keyboard it will erase everything you draw over so we will draw over the bottom pieces right here and there we go we've got our main structure right here finished for the sort of sunset or rainbow creation now I'm just going to color this in very quickly because the colors will be important for our text as well so um, I've got a color scheme prepared right here you can feel free to take a screenshot of it and copy it yourself um, or obviously come up with a color scheme of your liking and I'm going to push this aside now the next step is going to be selecting all of our objects and grouping them with Control G and now we can start on actually adding the text so this bottom bit is very easy I'm going to use the type tool you can hit T on your keyboard as well to do that click at the bottom right here then increase the size of our text and I'll put teacher right here at the bottom um, this font I'm going to use is Impressum regular which is a free font um, very sort of quirky and fun ideal for the teacher niche um, so just download that if you want to um, I will leave a link in the description to the free download link or obviously use a different font of your choice this one um, while you've got the font selected hit I on your keyboard and we're going to sample the darkest color of a sunset this top one and then you can go to type create outlines and actually scale this up properly I do have my artboard in a very big size that's why the the non-outlined version of that text didn't scale up all the way so that sometimes is the case with illustrator and now to add the nice sort of shaded text up here which we're going to do once again with the type tool and we're going to select a different font for this um, a free option that you can use here is called batu fat script that's definitely a valid option. You have to select the regular one. Once again, this font is linked in the description. Start off with Batafat script regular. Just click on the artboard, increase the size of this. So we can see what's going on. And now I'm going to write maths up here and I will change the font. Uh, well, I will do that in a minute, um, change the font color. But for now, one thing you can do is you can actually use glyphs on this font, which is really cool. So hit T on your keyboard and just select one of these letters, for example, the M. And you can see right here, there's a little highlight with uh, various different options or alternatives to the M. So if we click on this one, it gets this little extension here. Um, if we click another one, then it connects to the A. So sometimes you've got the option to play around right here with uh, different versions of a single letter. Same with the S. Uh, the S has got this one right here, which is quite cool. Or you could also add this little stroke at the bottom, um, which does look quite neat. So play around with the glyphs right there to have some more variety and uh, create a cool little style. I think it's a really, really good font uh, considering it's free and it has all those options. So um, now we want to place it on top of our sort of sunset. First of all, I'm going to sample the brightest color right here at the bottom, which is difficult because the text is in the way, um, but there we go. And now if we place this centrally, we can now hit Control C and then Control B to paste that text 
text behind itself. And if we now change it from regular up here in the font style section to extrude, we can see it turns horrible. <laughs> and that's because we have to change the color on it still. So uh, while having the text selected, so hit I on your keyboard again for the eyedropper tool, sample the dark green or the darkest color on your sunset. And uh, there we go. Um, we can now read maths and it looks really, really good. Um, if you did group your sunset, like I told you to, you can now lock this by hitting control two on your keyboard. And now we can select this text and move it around like this. Um, really cool text effect that this creates. And we can add a little bit of um, a slant as well to this by heading to object, envelope distort and click make with warp. And the act style definitely doesn't work right here. But if we change this to um, rise and turn down the bend function right here to uh, something quite low, uh, around the 20 mark, then as you can see, that creates a cool effect. We can stretch it out a bit, maybe rotate it a little bit. And there we go. We've got a maths teacher design. It does look pretty cool, this style. And you can obviously apply it to various different niches. And um, the last step I would recommend you do right here is actually overlaying a nice little texture within Illustrator. In order to do that, we first of all need to unlock all of our objects because our sunset is locked right now. You can do that by hitting Control, Alt, 2 on your keyboard. That unlocks everything. And now we can draw these over um, and copy them to the side in case we need them afterwards without the texture. Um, select everything, head to Object, Expand, click OK. And now everything has been turned into vector paths, which is essential for adding our texture to this. Uh, you want to select everything and to group it once again with Control G. And now you need a texture file, ideally in an SVG format. I do have a free textures bundle, which is linked in the description if you want to use one of those textures. That's what I'm going to show you as an example in this video. So I'm going to drag texture three into here. We zoom out, you can see these are all individual paths or um, yeah, it's a vector texture essentially. So select all of these, hit Control G to group them, and then we can drag them into our main document. And now what you want to do is overlay this onto your design. I'm going to rotate this by 90 degrees just because it matches the layout of the design better that way. Increase the size a bit um, so it covers the whole thing. And now if you select everything, we can head over to the transparency panel and click on make mask. And now if you untick the clip, function right here, then as you can see, we've got a really nice mask effect right here on our design. And you can even, if you click back into this and select the uh, opacity mask right here on the right hand side, you can even move your mask around like this and uh, therefore change the texture effect. You just have to make sure you don't sort of move it off of the canvas, then that looks a bit wonky, but um, essentially it's cool to have the ability to adjust your texture once it's been applied with that mask trick. And uh, once you're done, you just have to make sure that you once again click out of the mask over here, back onto your design. Otherwise you'll struggle to edit your design itself. And uh, there we go, that's it finished. I think that looks really nice. And um, obviously you can change the colors, change the words around very quickly and uh, have a ton of really nice designs ready for various different niches. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then you would definitely benefit from checking out this playlist filled with Adobe Illustrator tutorials and also different tips on how to save time.